begin with beginner makeup tips on how to go ahead and we're gonna blend out this makeup, okay? And we're gonna be using the detail brush today. So we've done this and placed it on our face. If you didn't see part one, go to part one so you can see how the makeup is actually placed using the finger method where we just go into the tin straight to our face. It's gonna give us a little bit more color payoff, but I'm gonna teach you how to use the detail brush to be able to do this whole makeup look using just one brush. So you're just going to tap Tap, 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 okay? Now the detail brush has a little bit more going for it because there's other ways that you can actually use it. So I will have to be able to show you guys exactly how you can use that. So you'll wanna follow along before that. But we're just right now gonna just be tapping out the colors on the face, just like this. And then blending everything together, starting from the lightest two shades to the darkest, which is the contour that we leave for last. Switch to the small end of the brush. I love the small end of this brush, okay? I love it a lot because you're able to just get in the nooks and the crannies and then you can blend it out. Now, there's nothing to say that you cannot go and use more than one brush to do your makeup with. I'm just showing you that there's a way to be able to do it if you only just have one brush, okay? We're gonna tap out the contour on the nose. You're always gonna tap that out because you wanna hold the color there. And then when we get to the eyebrows, we're gonna blend and flick. So tap and sweep, okay? That's not gonna change. Tap and sweep, do it ever so lightly. And then you're going to come around to the contour. And remember, if you have trouble blending, you can always go ahead and use a little bit of setting spray and spray either the brush or spray your face and then go in and blend because it'll make it so much easier for you, okay? All right, so then we blend on the eyes just a little bit more. When we get here, I'm just gonna start to like tap and blend everything up in place, just like this. Now the blush, lip and cheek color, you can just leave it. You don't have to put that on at the same time. You can do that after you blend your base in. I'm just doing it now for time purposes and placement so that you can see. And we're just going to tap it out just like this. And then everything just looks so good. Look how pretty. And then you would uh, set it everything according to your skin type. Use a setting spray and then go in with a setting powder. I'm just going to go ahead and powder everything down. Those are already listed in my playlist for you. And then add a lip gloss and you're done. Literally, that's exactly how you would blend everything out just using that detail brush. But we have more details, so follow me for part three.